What is it? Just tell me. Yeah. Pulsar 2 is a 100% electric performance vehicle designed oh. in Sweden. Oh. So you have two electric motors, one in the rear, one in the front, producing 419 horsepower, sorry, 408 horsepower. Uh, 0 to 60 in about 4.4 seconds, 4.5 4 seconds. Inside, it's controlled with an Android-based system. So it makes it very easy, but at the end of the day, it makes it very easy for developers to make apps that you can then download later. Your Google, uh, Google Maps is your mm -hmm. navigation, and you can ask Google anything. You can say, hey Google, where's the closest charger? Google, what's the weather going to be like today? Google, turn my heated seats on. All those things work. Was it, let me interrupt you, was it engineered in Sweden or in here Sweden. In, the, in Sweden? Yep. Yeah. Sweden. So, because I used to be, <laughs> I used to study, I used to live and study in Sweden back in 97, oh, yeah. 98. In so Stockholm I'm a or bit, Gothenburg or Lund? Uh, <laughs> I've been in Stockholm and also in Visby, on Gotland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Visby yeah, 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 so, is nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go to Svenska. Okay. Uh, it's easy for me to take those in English though. So, <laughs> Full gas roof, uh, you have a lot of storage in the in the trunk, you have some storage in the front. Uh, to fully charge or to, to charge this up from zero to eighty percent is about forty minutes okay. with the fast charger. Okay, okay. The you can get a charger at home, it'll take a little bit longer, but ideally if you have a charger at home, every time you charge it at night, every morning it will be fully charged. Uh so basically on average what you're saying is gonna take about eight hours to Depends on how much you drive. drive. Okay. So okay. it all depends on how much you drive. I, my experience from me driving on a daily basis, uh -huh. not not completing the emptying the whole battery every day. Every night I charge it. Every morning it's fully charged. Okay. Uh, do you guys? I mean, just sort of switching back to to charging stations. Is the only option at this point? is to plug it in at home or no so there's there plenty of charging options outside out of your home 75 percent of all chargers are non-tesla chargers okay okay I got you. so 25. not not convert okay i get you you can't use a tesla charger because tesla has their own plug but you can use all the other ones so any other charging station out there you can use so like basically basically charger. all of them but tesla okay exactly. got it got yeah. it cool 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 so it's a it's a five seater four door. We call it a fast bank because the trunk opens up in the rear. And the Christopher, back. this is uh, number one or number two? This is number two. Number two. Full start two. Okay. Great. All the seats fold down flat. Okay. We also have storage underneath. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is great. And then if you have a key on you, you put your foot underneath, and it closes. Wonderful. Wonderful. One of the major differences between us and any other electric cars currently is that we are performance performance oriented. So everything is is feels a little bit more like a cockpit. So once you get in the car, the the steering, the pe everything is just more. What's it called? That's a good word for it. It's not so luxury. You know, luxury space is more open. This is a little bit more easy to navigate all the buttons everything that you need even I though you don't really need any buttons any day these days i get you i get you, you. so what you're saying it's more like stripped down uh, more practical correct something like that sure yeah and uh, i have a question let's say i have never driven driven this vehicle mm -hmm. before will i be will i be having any difficulty meaning is what sort of a learning curve I and mean, do you have to the, press any nope. led only, screens or nope. just press Everything is the same. The, the metal hold, to the pedal? Yeah. The pedal to the yes. metal? You hold the brake to put it into, into drive and to, and to be ready. We call it still drive. Uh, and then you let go of the brake and it, it drives. Uh, the only thing with this car, specifically, maybe, it, maybe it's just us, but as soon as you get in the car, you sit in the seat, the ignition is on. There's no start button. Oh, okay. Because okay. you don't need a start button anymore because you don't need a start sequence. Because the car is on as soon as you go in. Christopher, I, was, I wanted to ask you about one of the some of the security features let's say the car is parked outside yeah. let's say i have the key remote i get in just like you said i sit down it starts what if the car is open or whatever left open somebody else gets in sits down and it starts and it drives like what if as long as there's no key inside the car they won't be able to drive away why not because they need to it has a proximity sensor to your key. The key needs to be inside the car. Even if you have the key on the outside here, they will not be able to start the car. I get you. So there is a key with a proximity yeah. sensor. Or okay. a phone. Great. Okay. Eventually it will be your phone, so you don't even need a key. 
but Great. I know it'll still uh, recognize your phone being inside the car. And you can start it with your phone. This is great. Or you can send it to your friend to start it with. This awesome, phone. awesome. And just like you said, I mean, uh, it, it, it contains like two two engines, correct? Like yep. one of the There's one, one in the motor back. in the front and one in the rear, all wheel drive. Okay, but the cargo area is in the back yep. only. Okay. There's there's a little bit in the front, uh -huh. but it's more for your charging cables and a repair kit. Okay. If you want it. You can show it. Would be great. You're mixing a lot of Wow, this is awesome. So here's a charging cable that comes with the car. Mm -hmm. You have a regular 10 volt or 110 volt uh -huh. outlet and then one for 230. Yeah, I think underneath here you have a little bit more space for... So if you want to use this, you can take this out. Uh -huh. This is awesome. This is great. And then the same as a regular car, you fill your wind wiper fluids. Okay. So it's very similar. There's really no... There's not a lot of learning curve to drive an electric car. Yeah. It's changing because how you charge it or how you fuel it because you don't have to go to a gas station ever again. What about that uh, sort of an iPad feature inside? Like there's like an it's electric an entertainment system. system. So in there you can do your controls for the car, you can your infotainment, your navigation, um, settings. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. Most of it you can ask Google to help you and they will help you. Okay. Like turn your heated seats on, navigate at home. And uh, just like with Tesla, you guys are providing some sort of updates. Yeah, for over the there updates okay. will be provided. Okay. And uh, when do you provide it? Like over the air, the internet connection, or via the. Over the air. Yeah, okay. okay so great. again, every morning, or if there's an update, it will be pushed to the car, and then. Either if it's a major one, I will let you know. If not, I will just be updated. Sounds great. Sounds great. Actually, I'm you only have to service it every two years because there's no oil changes. And you don't really need to use the brakes that much.